Thanks for joining me on another episode of Positive Profit. Whether you're listening to my podcast channel or whether you're watching me on YouTube, my name is Kara Brothers. Either way, in this segment of the show, we're delving into the nutritional nitty gritty of carob. This is a great episode to explore the delicate balance between flavor, nutrition, and potential health benefits or concerns when it comes to carob. This is actually our third episode in this eight-part series all about carob. And as you know, I'm trying to make these short episodes so you can get the nuggets of information that you need to be a boss in your business and know about carob to help your customers and enhance your treats. In this episode, I'm actually trying something new. I'll be featuring some of my profiteers' pictures of their pooches, so stay tuned. This is part three in the Carib series. First, we're going to, and by the way, it's cold in my house. If you see me with my bear paws with these fingerless gloves that someone from an old employer made for me, which I love. I I never had fingerless gloves until I had these. It's cold in my house because I have my office like curtained off. So we don't heat this area of the house and it gets chilly. Y'all, I had a hand warmer in here. I'm trying out. Oh, here it is. I'm trying out hand warmers. For, oh, it actually works. I'm trying out hand warmers for the first time because my wrists get cold. Isn't that weird? Yep. So I have a hand warmer right inside my little glove. Oh, it's working if it will just stay put. Anywho, sidetrack squirrel, y'all. I'm a squirrel girl. I don't know about you. I'm looking forward to the dog pictures. I know you are too. I had a great response when I said, send me some pictures of your dog. And I got tons in my email. So thanks so much for sending them. I will share them soon. So right now we're going to talk about Carib's nutritional profile. And to help understand the impact of carob chips, we first need to look at their nutritional profile. Carob is naturally low in fat, and it contains fiber, protein, and various vitamins and minerals. Compared to chocolate, which is high in sugar, as we know, and theobromine, which we don't like, carob provides a healthy alternative for our furry friends. Now let's talk calories. While carob is lower in fat than chocolate, It does contain natural sugars, which is kind of cool, and so portion control is crucial. Too many treats, even if they are made with carob and love, they can contribute to excess calories and potentially lead to weight gain. As with any treat, moderation is key. That being said, carob chips come in either sweetened or unsweetened. For an all-natural approach to baking treats for dogs made with carob chips, I prefer to choose the kind that are made without added sugar, and that's just another way I can keep my business all natural. Even though sugar is all natural, I just prefer to bake without it. A notable advantage about carob is its fiber. Fiber is beneficial for digestive health and can help regulate bowel movements. It's a positive aspect of carob that contributes to the overall well-being of our dogs when it's included as part of a balanced diet. Carob chips and carob powder also boast antioxidant properties, offering potential health benefits. Antioxidants help combat oxidative stress and inflammation, and while it's not a miracle cure, the inclusion of antioxidants in your dog's diet can contribute to their overall health, and it may have some positive effects on various bodily functions. Go carob, right? Flavorful delight with fewer risks. From a flavor perspective, carob chips provide a delightful chocolate-like taste without the risks associated with chocolate. This allows bakers to create tasty treats for their dogs without compromising on safety. The balance between flavor and safety is a significant reason why carob has gained popularity in the world of dog treats. Let's talk about potential allergies because we are talking about nutrition and health and things like that. While carob is generally considered safe for dogs, it is essential to be still mindful of any potential allergies. While some dogs may have sensitivities to certain ingredients, including carob, it's possible, it's recommended to introduce new treats gradually and observe your dog for any adverse reactions. And in fact, that's a good thing to tell new customers who purchase from you 
about any new products that they may be buying, they'll let you know, oh, I've never tried carob before. Yeah, I'll, I'll take one of those and see if my dog likes it. You can substitute this with peanut butter or chicken or blueberries or whatever you have. And it's a good idea to tell them to introduce treats gradually and observe their dog for any adverse reactions. So just a, a good little tip to give your customers. In conclusion, carob chips can be a healthy addition to your dog's diet when used in moderation. And their nutritional profile, lower fat content, and delightful flavor make them a popular choice for bakers who seek safe and healthy alternatives. Remember, as with any treat, it's crucial to consider your dog's overall diet and health needs. Join me on the next episode in our Carib series, where we will explore how Carib might impact various aspects of canine health. Now for dog pictures. Are you excited? I am too. I am excited. Instead of doing reviews, which I love doing reviews and being able to share back with you all the cool stuff you guys are saying about the show. Thank you so, so much. I'm going to put up some photos of my listeners and viewers pups. The first one we have comes from Madeline. Madeline's pup is Akamaru and Akamaru is two years old. Next up, we have Caitlin. Caitlin is the owner of Fur Baby Cookie Company. What a cute name. Caitlin has a Frenchie named Chopper, nearly two years old, a red and white staffy Bessie, who is 13, and a brindle staffy Simba, who is 10 years old. Next is Christian and Sonia Carrington. This is the inspiration for their company, Primal Paws Dog Bakery, LLC, a two-year-old party mixed golden doodle named Indy Rain. Wow, what a cool name. What a beautiful dog. This is Ariel's boy, Raylan. Wow. These are some amazing pictures. Oh my goodness. Here's Brittany's pup. She's got two, beans and wasabi. Brittany is the owner of Pub and Grub LLC in Kissimmee, Florida. And finally, we have Amanda. Her business is Bougie Barkery. And her shorty is named Midnight. I struggled, shorty. Okay, I get the Yorkie part, but I could not think of a dog with an SH, like a shepherd Yorkie. And I'm, I looked at your dog and I was like, no, it is not a shepherd Yorkie. What is a Shorky? And I have come across maybe Schnauzer and Yorkie. If you know, please let me know what an adorable dog. If you want to see your pup's furry face on my YouTube show, send a picture with your dog's name and breed and age to support at positiveprofit.com. And it's positive with a P-A-W. Also, if you want to leave a message for me, go ahead and do that on my website, positiveprofit.com forward slash podcast, or just click on the podcast tab and scroll down till you see the orange button, send a message to Kara, or just comment right on this video and I'll answer your question. If you've enjoyed this episode of Positive Profit, don't forget to subscribe, rate, and leave me a possum review. Connect with me over on Instagram at Positive Profit. Please share your baking adventures with Carob with the hashtag Positive Profit Carob. Until next time, don't forget to treat yourself well.